Well, hey there, everybody. It's Lori McLean back with another episode of RA Raw. In this week's episode, we are going to be talking about the myths surrounding rheumatoid arthritis. Now, this is the second. <laughs> uh, I have a co host again today. If you saw my video from a couple of weeks ago, B made a bit of an appearance. And it seems that she wants to make another appearance. So you might be seeing her little tail. I don't know if she's going to let you see her face or not. She might be a little camera shy. So <laughs> as I said, this is the second of a two-part series about the myths that surround rheumatoid arthritis. And hopefully, hopefully I'm not too distracted for this one. You can probably hear her purring. I'm actually, I'm going to try and... Well, hey everybody, it's Lori McLean, back with another episode of RA Raw. I apologize, well, I think it's kind of great actually that B has decided to return for this week's episode. She was in the episode a couple of weeks ago when I talked about the flu. So... This week, we are talking about the myths that surround rheumatoid arthritis. Oh boy, here we go. This is the second episode in a two-part series. So let's get into this and let's talk about these myths. You know, last week we covered quite a few and we're gonna just cover a few more that are left. But these ones, um, a couple of them left me quite flabbergasted, to be honest. I went on to a site called creakyjoints.com, which is a, an amazing, amazing site. And if you would like to go there and check out, this is where I gathered most of these myths from. As well, I've kind of sprinkled in a few that I have heard over the years. But this was one of the ones from Creaky Joints. And it was, um, I, I don't know where this myth comes from, but it's there. It is that RA doesn't affect everyday tasks. Now, I don't know about you, but I was kind of appalled by that one, quite honestly. That is the thing that RA affects the most is our everyday tasks, right? I mean, something as simple as buttoning a shirt can be like trying to climb Mount Everest. It's, it's next to impossible. So I really believe that this myth needs to be dispelled. Everyday tasks, we're talking about things like brushing our teeth. Yeah, that becomes next to impossible when you wake up in the morning and you can't open your hand. Going to the washroom, honestly, folks, that becomes a huge, huge hurdle to try and overcome. You know, you, you have to get creative. <laughs> Unzipping your pants, undoing a button, it's hard enough to do them up, but undoing is just as difficult. Now, I'm, like I say, quite frankly, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. And I've only named a few things. If you know someone with RA, if you have a loved one who has this disease, try wrapping your hands in tensor bandages in a fist and try functioning. See how your day goes. Things become impossible. So yeah, no, everyday tasks definitely are affected by rheumatoid arthritis. So the next myth is that since there is no cure, there is no hope. Again, this is also from Creaky Joints. That one, that one struck. That one struck me. And the reason is because I believe that when we have nothing else, we have hope. And the reason that we have hope is because there's advancements being made in research. There's advancements being made in treatment because of that research. More and more is being learned about this disease every day. And it is because of warriors like us that those advancements are being made. It's because of the warriors that came 30 years ago before us. And it is because of us that the warriors of the future will have hope. So when you feel like there is absolutely no hope left, please play this and know that 
I was diagnosed at the age of two. I am now in my 40th year with the disease. I have been in remission for the last five years. So I say that if it is possible for me to go into remission, then I believe it. it's possible for anyone to go into remission. So yes, there is hope. There is definitely hope. You know, all of these myths seem to actually kind of be hitting a heartstring with me. This myth is that if you have rheumatoid arthritis, so will your children. No, 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 no. That is not a fact. It is not proven that rheumatoid arthritis is hereditary. The next one is a huge, huge myth. And it's that exercise is not good for RA and it puts too much pressure on your joint. This is definitely a myth because it's been proven, and I can attest to this, that inflammation decreases if you exercise. Mobility becomes better if you exercise. Uh, fatigue becomes less if you exercise. Yoga is fantastic for RA. Swimming is wonderful for RA. Things like jogging, uh, running are not because they do cause wear and tear on the knees and on your feet. And the impact is just a little too hard, but you can walk. I walk. In fact, this fall, I was walking three, four miles uh, at a time. And I was absolutely, I was absolutely overjoyed that I could walk that distance. So find something that works for you, but the best advice I can give anyone in terms of how to treat their rheumatoid arthritis is to stay active. Even on days when you feel absolutely horrible, try, just try to do some sort of activity. Like I say, whether it's just some really gentle stretching, that helps a lot. I'm gonna put a link in the description below to a couple of videos here on YouTube that I think are fantastic. Um, show wonderful, wonderful things to do if you have rheumatoid arthritis. The next myth is one that's become popular in the last few years, especially, and that is that alkaline water helps to cure rheumatoid arthritis. This is one that I haven't heard before, um, but it's believed that uh, it has to do with the acidity in, in the body and it's believed that alkaline water will help lower the acidity in your body. Um, that has not, again, there is no fact, there is no basis for this belief. What does help with inflammation is hydration. The more you drink, the better it is. So I try and drink, as I've said before in other videos, I try and drink around three to four liters of water a day. The more you can drink, the better. Um, if people have noticed that alkaline water helps, it most likely is because of the hydration factor, not the alkaline itself. Now, not to mention that alkaline water can be very expensive. So, you know, if it's something that you want to research and try, then by all means, I mean, there's no harm. Um, who knows? You might see some difference. But as I said, there's no science to back that up. The last myth is one that, again, strikes very, very close to home, and I can sit here and completely attest to the fact that it is false. That myth is that children do not get rheumatoid arthritis. Well, as I said, I was two when I was diagnosed. That's just complete hooey. Anyone, anywhere, any age, at any time can get rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, everybody, that's it. That is the end of the myths that I have found and that I am going to share with you. I have to go and, and wrangle my kitty. <laughs> she is, <laughs> she's been going crazy in, in where you guys can't see. She's smart. She knows not to act up on camera. Anyways, everybody have a fantastic day. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I release videos like this one every Thursday here on YouTube. I also have a Facebook page, Twitter account, and Instagram account where you can follow me on those. I'll put the links in the description below. Please, if you like this video, hit that like button because it allows for more warriors to discover my content. Everybody, take care and have a fabulous, fabulous week. I'll see you next Thursday. Bye for now.